Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to the first episode of the Great Eat Ascension. Um, again, I'm going to have to be whispering for this um, video because it's morning and I don't want my parents to hear the cringe shit that I'm saying right now, but um, yeah, anyways, here we go. <laughs> Today, I guess I feel the most important part of I guess any journey is to kind of set goals for yourself because I feel without goals, you're kind of wandering aimlessly throughout life. And you know, this is just gonna be like a preliminary list of things that are on my mind at the moment. And I guess to make it more realistic, I'll be narrowing it down in the future. Maybe using like flow charts or Venn diagrams that I'm gonna show um, yeah, but for now, yeah, I'm going to be talking about what I want out of life. Um, a few people have actually asked me this question, and I guess I have always had things at the back of my head, but I never really had like a clear direction, and I still don't, but I'm just going to basically like machine gun fire, if that's the right term, all the things that I want out of life. Obviously, some of this stuff is going to be pretty unrealistic, but, you know, the first thing that, you know, I want to be is, you know, I want to be fucking rich. I want to be, I want to be a baller. Obviously, that's not the most realistic goal. You know, like, I'm never going to be as rich as someone like Jeff Bezos, but as far as wealth goes... I kind of I kind of want to get to the point where, you know, money no longer becomes an issue in most things in my life. And by that I mean, you know, obviously within reason like if I go to like the average restaurant, then I wouldn't have to like look at the bill or anything or if I for example want to buy a Switch game or, you know, buy something for one of my hobbies, then I I could just straight up buy it without having to think about like bills and I wouldn't have to worry about anything like rent because maybe I'd own like a property or two, you know, that's what I want financially for myself. And as far as finances go, the number two thing I want is to have some sort of like passive income. I mean, I am sort of against like the whole like wage slave lifestyle regardless of whether I'm neat or not. I really do think that working unnecessarily long hours just to get by and living paycheck to paycheck is really not the way to live life. And it's certainly a contributing factor as to why I'm neat. But I guess the sort of, I guess, having your cake and eating it to solution would be to have, you know, some sort of passive income primarily by, you know, investing the income that I have that I'm going to make somehow in the future, regardless of whether I become a wage or not into things like investments. Um, I don't know, like fucking stocks and bonds. I have no clue about finances, but I guess maybe that's something we'll figure out along the way on this channel. Yeah, so that's my financial goals. Um, another big thing that I feel like would increase my quality of life, even more than money, because I feel like money only fixes so many problems and it can often lead to things like fake friends and stuff like that, create more problems than it actually solves. Well, you know, it's better than having no money, obviously, but I think a good remedy to that would be to have good social skills. And I really want to have uh, good social skills like be a socially savvy person and you know be charismatic be able to talk to people in person obviously this includes talking to you know women because <laughs> i mean any i guess straight guy who says that they don't want to talk to women is you know obviously lying and you know i'm not saying like be some sort of like pickup artist but just be able to like talk naturally and you know just be a chill guy to like everybody pretty much 
and yeah just be able to like create and hold like relationships in real life and you know not scare people away with all the off-putting things that i do which i've gotten into and will get into more in my future videos but yeah so there's social skills um another thing is to i guess as far as careers go ideally i would like to make my income by i guess like doing a hobby that i like and for me that hobby is music i'm really enjoy music production and i feel like it's something that i want to become really good at i'm slightly above average slightly above being mediocre as far as music production goes but there's definitely a lot i have to learn and um a lot i can improve i can improve on but that's another thing is i want to become like maybe the best of the best or enough to make you know maybe it's just wishful thinking but like a six-figure income from it making like major label placements and selling beats online if that's even possible like i sound like some delusional soundcloud producer right now but that's just what i'm dreaming and this is a video where i'm just going to be shooting for the stars speaking of shooting the stars i guess for really being honest about my finances it would be nice to be a billionaire but you know like in an ethical way in an ethical way not unethical and ethical okay i can't fucking speak english but i feel like you guys kind of know what i'm saying so moving on what else the next thing that i want out of life i guess i'm just gonna list off numerous other skills like i guess in a way i kind of want to be like a renaissance man as corny as that sounds because people will sometimes say that oh just you know stick to one thing and do it really well but to function in society and in everyday life you have to be good like at many things like not just be, be like decent at bare minimum but preferably be good and a lot of successful people are often good at multiple things primarily which are things like you know having good sense of fashion social skills which i mentioned before and I'm just gonna list off the many other things that I'm interested in and would like to improve on. Um, you know, I'd like to become better at cooking because I enjoy food immensely. Like, honestly, I talked in one of my videos about how one of the things keeping me from roping is my music hobby or the dream of becoming a music producer. But honestly, the other thing that keeps me going in life is just fucking eating food as dumb as that sounds i i really enjoy a good meal and there isn't a day where i don't look forward to what i'm going to eat next even on days that i'm depressed i'm still constantly looking towards what i'm going to be eating next so you know maybe either become a good chef or get into a situation where i'm able to travel pretty freely and you know be able to like just eat a bunch of shit that i really like you know try cuisines all over the world kind of like mikey chen from strictly dumplings <laughs> if you guys watch that channel or um mark weens i mean you know i'm not against the possibility of becoming a food blogger that'd be pretty fucking funny but <laughs> um i can like make orgasmic like moaning faces when i eat like i'm pretty sure i can do that but um I also want to be physically fit and you know when i say fit i don't mean like super like muscular like some fucking like massive like jack bodybuilder on like steroids but more so like like lean and like cut you know like i kind of i kind of want to be like muscular within like a healthy weight i guess you know within what the bmi scale says is a healthy weight not that that's accurate for muscular people because it can say that someone who's muscular is technically obese which is you know in a way a little bit true but not true at all in the sense that they're probably way healthier than someone who is a you know obese but it's more so like i want to be like within like a standard range for my weight or whatever and you know look muscular and lean and like pretty much like ripped maybe like 10 percent body fat and have a six pack, you know. <sighs> so 
dude, if my fucking parents hear me saying this cringe shit, I actually might fucking hang myself in the stairway. Like, I'm being such a fucking cringe lord. Holy shit. But, sorry. Um, yeah, if guys in here, someone was just down here and one of my parents might have heard me saying this shit. Hopefully not. I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm just being insecure for no reason, but yeah. Anyways, <sighs> lost my train of thought there, but okay, clearly something's wrong with me. I guess obviously another thing that I'd like to get over is my mental illness, I guess. I'm sort of convinced that I don't have Asperger's anymore or I have it to a very minor degree, something that's definitely compensatable for. But obviously one of the big issues that I have is my mental illness. And um, I would definitely like to overcome that, you know, just to be like a healthy, mentally healthy person, not be so socially anxious and insecure about things because I feel like honestly my social anxiety is so terrible to the point where it just makes me act like someone who has Asperger's like a complete spurg especially around people that I perceive as being high status or um better than me in some way but it mostly pretty much which is pretty much everyone because my self-esteem is also quite shitty so you know it would be nice if I sorted that stuff out too and i would like to have a lot of material possessions but you know mostly things that will either make my life um better than it is now like a lot of like music equipment that i'd like to purchase um you know a mattress that doesn't make my back feel like it has scoliosis and it's gonna fucking fracture nicer pillows nicer sheets you know be able to afford the nicer things in life you know because as much as some of that shit is overpriced i feel like some of it is expensive for a reason and obviously this doesn't apply to all things but i would like to be able to afford that stuff maybe not like designer clothes or anything you know maybe the occasional piece or two to like flex but <laughs> wow i'm such a fucking cringe lord <laughs> but um enough to like own clothes that are like really comfortable where the fabric feels nice which is like probably a really important thing as far as clothes go have nice things basically be able to afford good quality products products i can't fucking pronounce that word product products products prod products that are um i guess worth the money and I guess I would like to be able to defend myself because I used to think that just lifting weights would be enough to, you know, make me confident. But after just trying to learn boxing on my own, it kind of made me realize that muscles don't necessarily mean shit if you don't know how to use them. So since there's probably no chance that I'm ever going to be a professional athlete at this point, I feel like the next best thing would be to, um, to become at least adequately good at some sort of martial art i guess boxing maybe but i'd like to you know maybe one day be pretty good at mma be good at grappling and kicking because you know grappling and kicking are both better than boxing fundamentally although they're definitely a lot harder well, that's just my opinion but yeah there's that and the last thing on this list is just going to be that you know i would be i would like to be uh drowning in women swimming and female attention and validation and just be reveling in it okay obviously that's my pretty poor attempt at humor again but um i would at the very least like to have a girlfriend at some point because i feel like that's just part of what people consider to be normal functioning. And if you don't have one by this age, people kind of just assume a lot of shit about you and treat you like you're weird. And also it would just be nice to experience what that's like for myself. So yeah, I guess that's another thing I'll add to my bucket list or wish list of things that I'd like to accomplish before I die. And also, yeah, I guess I forgot maybe have some sort of legacy for myself maybe i'm thinking too far ahead for now yeah i think i am so obviously uh this list will be updated as time goes on 
can't believe my parents might have heard me saying this shit. Talking to myself, they probably think I'm schizophrenic or something, or just out of my mind, but little do they know I have a YouTube channel exposing myself to the world and potentially being a giant cringe lord. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, of me talking about my dreams and stuff. I'm gonna be making more videos in the future that involves me that involves me actually doing like actionable steps and researching different things that I can practice and showing you the things that I'm trying to do to improve myself as a person. And yeah, um, anyways, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey, which might not actually work out, but hopefully it does. And this is company signing out before my parents hear me more and think I'm effed in the head.